Hello everyone, remember to like and subscribe to my channel to get the latest on reviews about movies and TV shows on Review This. I just came back from watching Pet Cemetery, and I honestly don't know how to feel about it. It was an okay movie, but I really feel like they left a lot of things out. So it's basically about this family that moves into a house that has a pet cemetery in their backyard. And you know something creepy is definitely going on because of the music, but also because of some random kids doing a procession while wearing masks of pets and carrying what I think is a dead pet, maybe a dog perhaps, that, that, that doesn't matter. But who are these kids? Is the procession required? Do they know what's going on? I feel like they took a lot of time to set up the story, but the plot was very vague. They do let you know what and why this particular thing happened, and they say when it started, but they don't really go on full on detail of who is behind this. They mention someone called a Wendigo, who apparently is a demon, but who is he? What does he want? Uh, I don't know, I have so many questions. And as I said, the story took 1 hour and 20 minutes to set and just 20 minutes left of like killing and all the action. And they managed to do a few jump scares, which I fell for a few of those. But that's it. So I don't really consider it an horror movie. I would say it's more like a, a suspense movie. They also try to push in other characters into the story that doesn't really make sense. For example, there's this kid that dies and he keeps appearing through the movie trying to warn the character to not do something stupid and it doesn't work. But like, why him specifically? Is he linked to what is happening? Like, why? Why him? Is his death related to this crazy shit that is happening there? And then the character that tries to save him is a doctor and is the father of the family. And he is a very rational person. He goes by the book, everything has an explanation, he doesn't believe in the afterlife, but then he tries bringing back his daughter from the dead knowing that when he did it to his freaking cat, weird shit start happening. The cat is freaking different. And I gotta say, the actress that played the little girl, she did a really good job. She was so creepy and so demonic. Like, she really came straight from hell. But then there's also the mother. The mother was another character whose backstory did not make any sense at all. They tried to make her story scary, but it's really not. It feels kind of like force. So basically, she had this sister that had like a deformed back or a deformed body, and sometimes she had visions about her. They try to turn that deformed woman into some part of horror movie, but it didn't work that well. And it, it didn't really add anything at all to the story. Honestly, the ending made me feel like I just wasted my time. I don't like those kind of endings. But just to not keep trash talking about the movies, I did like a few scenes. I really liked a lot the truck accident scene. It felt really emotional, felt really intense. All the characters were 100% there. You could actually feel the loss. And another scene that I like is a scene that you can actually see in the trailer where the little girl stabs the old man in his foot. That scene was so painful, like, ouch. It looks so gross and painful. So it was in the trailer. The trailer was awesome in comparison to the movie. Like, honestly, I would give the trailer of Pet Cemetery an 8 out of 10. To the movie, per se, not so much. I would give an overall score of 
6 out of 10 to Pet Cemetery. It's definitely a movie I would want to see, but not by spending money on a movie theater. Or even, I don't think I would watch it a second time. Honestly, I think these are really sad times for horror movies. I don't remember the last horror movie I saw that I was like, oh man, this movie is amazing. I surely hope La Llorona or Annabelle number 15 are good. Uh, trailers look good, but apparently that can change at some point. But that's it for today, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.